Hello, <coughs> hello everybody. What I'm going to be discussing this week is the different baking on polymer clay, as well as important, I think, essential information so that way you can turn out really, really good polymer clay. These are the polymer, different polymer clay pan, pans that you can use. These are that you have maybe, oh, sweet rolls in or whatever. And they are great to put in um, uh, long ones or bigger ones, uh, bigger polymer clay. And, and uh, it's great for that. That's it fits really nice. This is an example <clears throat> of that, which will be baked soon. And one of them do, does say uh, <clears throat> 50 years. And these need to be rebaked. But as you can see, it's in the same kind of pan. <clears throat> this is a round pan that you put what pies in. And this is also great for uh, different kinds of uh, polymer clay. <clears throat> this is a pan that you that uh, comes with the uh, um, the uh, toaster oven, which I will tell you about shortly. And it's great because it has holes in it. <clears throat> in it, and then this is the pan. <laughs> this here is <clears throat> a little little pan, a smaller pan, <clears throat> um, similar to this, but smaller, and that you can put in smaller type um, uh, polymer clay. And there are several. And this is what you can put them in, put that kind of thing in. In <coughs> here. And this here is actually a muffin tin, which you can put in with oh, your. Uh, <clears throat> pendants or charms that you can create and they're perfect for that also if you're gonna make uh, alphabet uh, charms or whatever uh, or um, beads that this is perfect for that <clears throat> and this here is a much bigger pan that if you were going to put it in a regular sized <coughs> oven, which you can um, uh, put them in, and it's perfect for really big stuff, or if you want to have, <coughs> or if you want to put it, uh, put it on for cooling, you can do that. The main and why I suggest these kind of things for um, your polymer clay, as you can see, this is the bigger, and then you've got the bigger ones, is the sizes may be different, and you may want to have little ones, <coughs> or you may have bigger ones that you may just need. A muffin tin for. Uh, <clears throat> here is the um, toaster oven. I got it at the uh, thrift store, really, for a few bucks. And <clears throat> you can get them uh, at Target or your... Um, Target or <clears throat> anywhere that sells toaster ovens, 
And you really don't need to get anything really expensive if you if all you're going to be doing is baking polymer clay. This is an old fashioned one. And um, so, and uh, that is also recommended that uh, I recommend is the extension cord. Because most toaster ovens just have a small cord. But uh, this one, uh, but uh, I recommend that. Another thing I recommend is a timer. This is an old fashioned that dings so that you can time it for <coughs> whatever it is, like 20 or 15 or 30 or whatever. It will, it's a great timer for it. I got it at hospice again. I mean, where else would I get right? <coughs> and um, towels and pot holders because these are going to come out hot. So I do recommend, highly recommend getting pot holders so you don't burn yourself. Itself. So that way you can carry them to your uh, cooling place, and so when they, so you don't burn yourself. Uh, what I would recommend is is when you do get one that's either digitally or something like this, is to automatically set it. So you'll know. Now if it's crayons, uh, just do it for 300. But otherwise, just put it as the same amount and just leave it there. And then that way all you have to do is turn on this or whatever, however yours work, and then that way it's already set. Another thing that I would recommend is to be there <clears throat> when baking so that way your polymer clay does not uh, get burnt. I burn polymer clay and it's not a good idea. So I would highly, highly recommend you uh, stay there. And don't even go to the bathroom um, because it doesn't take that long. <clears throat> and um, another thing is that you might want to also do when, what I do is when I'm making polymer clay, get as many as I can and then do them as one go. And then that way your baking time is, you, you have a set baking time. And, uh, and um, the, these are also uh, good when you're going to be do, doing the next uh, step, which is, um, sanding them and uh, polishing them. <coughs> Pol polishing them. Well, I hope that, uh, well, I hope this helps. And, and if you have any comments or any suggest baking suggestions, or any uh, toaster oven suggestion, or even timer, or <clears throat> how you dry them, uh, please put them in the comment section, uh, or on my Instagram, or Twitter. Uh, if they do, please put hashtag baking polymer clay and oh please like this 
And if you want to see more, um, hit the subscribe button and you'll find out what uh, the coming weeks will be. Next week, we'll be <coughs> conditioning polymer clay and what tools I use. And, and even what tools I do use compared with what is uh, quotes unquote normal. Well, until then, happy crafting!